I'm gonna sit like this for this video uh, so that I can be at the center of the camera or maybe like this NXT the great American bash was for all the people who want the summarized version the TLDR was awesome how can I say that when there were two matches with botch finishers I don't know but I think it was awesome first of all I love Nathan Fraser unfortunately I haven't watched them his match because it turned out that his match was at the kickoff show and even though I understood I understood it was at the kickoff show I still didn't watch it because it was eight man tag team match and it was even a mixed tag team match uh, I'm not interested in those that type of match that is is determining nothing yeah as I saw that Nathan had a few interesting spots and I would even consider them the best moment of NXT Great American Bash I'm just gonna move on I love you Nathan if you're watching this hearts and let's move forward we have new tag team champions Tony D and uh, Stax I think is his name and I think it was time first of all it was time for Tony D to have a title and second of all the titles were not in good hands with these guys I don't know who are they probably they were big in NXT UK but something something doesn't click man something doesn't click with them I don't know the only guy who is cool in this group was the guy who is actually not wrestling in Gallus Figure it out. <sighs> Goosebumps, man. The triple threat match. Dirty Dominic Mysterio versus Wes Lee versus Mustafa Ali. Honestly, I thought that Dom is gonna lose this one. I was surprised that he didn't. I was surprised that Rhea rip made a rip tight to Wes Lee and broke a table. I was surprised. I was nicely surprised. I'm happy with the outcome of the match. Dominic retained and uh, it was an interesting match honestly I would have loved to see Mustafa Ali with the title but uh, I guess they're building it for their next pay-per-view which is labeled No Mercy I'm really excited for No Mercy it sounds really cool man next up I want to talk about two matches two matches first of all I'm gonna talk about the first uh, you know but two matches that were with botched endings and ruined the show a little bit but first of all Gable Stevenson versus Baron Corbin it started great <laughs> for some reason everyone was chanting Baron Corbin throughout the match no one was interested in Gable Stevenson I don't know why people just didn't give that guy a chance probably that's why the ending was botched it ended on a count out they were just fighting out in the room, ring and they got counted out and after that they had a small brawl and <sighs> but it ended his debut match was just ending on a count out I mean why but I guess it was fair it was fair because can you imagine if Gable Stevenson won? If Gable Stevenson have won, that means that the whole new Baron Corbin shtick, dead. Dead. Because the first time that Baron Corbin goes with a new music, new look, he's gonna lose. Can you imagine if Baron Corbin wins that whole Gable Stevenson shit? Dead. All these months waiting, years waiting, for nothing. So I guess it's fair, they, I guess they were trying to figure out what is best. Maybe the first opponent for Gable Stevenson should have been someone else, so he can take the victory, but still, no up. No. Even Stratton versus Tia Hale. I feel like Tia Hale seriously got injured there. Maybe I, I, I got played or something, but it felt like she seriously got injured, and that's why they kinda ended the match. I was rooting for her, to be fair. I, I expressed my opinion about Tiffany Stratton. Tia Hill has a lot more fire and a passion about it and I'm 
really surprised that she's 19 years old and she's not flipping up her promos. Yeah, it, and it would have been history, you know, the first 19 years old champion, whatever. Unfortunate. Uh, hopefully, she's not injured. And the certified banger of the night, Ilya Dragunov and Carmelo Hayes. Oh my gosh, I cried. I didn't. I actually didn't, but it was a great match, man. It was a great match. I said in the previous episodes, I thought that Carmelo is gonna lose, but every time that he was about to lose, I was just like... <laughs> it was so emotional, it was so good, and... Props to both. Props to both for having this amazing match. And, uh, yeah, Carmelo Hayes uh, retains, and... I don't know what does that mean for the Bobby Lashley thing. I suspect that they're gonna make a second part of Ilya versus Carmelo, but I can only speculate, right? No Mercy sounds great. And I imagine that Ilya should be in that pay-per-view because he has no mercy for his opponents. But yeah, long story short, I'm saying it again. NXT, the Great American Bash, was great and I enjoyed it, it was awesome, uh, there was one match that I didn't cover, but yeah, you're gonna figure it out, uh, if I haven't covered it, I'm not really interested in it, oh yeah, I remember, it was not a bad match, but there was something off about that match, yeah, see ya!